bit of a slight thought here, a change in my normal monologues today. Um, I've been, over the last few months, fascinated by the spiritual journey that we're all taking. And I've been listening to all sorts of people who have put videos up. I mean, going back to Dolores Cannon, the famous hypnotist who did a lot of research in um, people who were born in previous lives and indeed those who connected with possibly aliens and things like that, to people who had been come back from the dead and, and, and all of that and, and various things that she'd collated and put together in a whole load of um, books that she wrote. And, and there are lots of videos where she's out and about doing talks and, and talking about how we are in control of our, um, our, our world uh, and what we manifest, that we can manifest those things that we want. And then there's more up-to-date people like, um, I suppose, Dr. Bruce Lipton, who talks about it from a scientific point of view. And he says, yes, the genes, you know, you, you affect the genes in your body. They, they are not templates for a certain outcome, that actually how we think, the consciousness will change all of that. But not just that, but also because we know that uh, everything out here is just a vibration, it's just energy, that our consciousness can change the energy, can change our environment, and that we can materialise things. And this is, you know, this is fascinating. Now, the thing is, I mean, this has been spoken about for, for years, people, spiritual gurus from the past, and, and it comes back every so many years, and suddenly there's a flurry of books and all of that. And I remember reading those sort of things when I was quite young and thinking, wow, this is really interesting. And then, of course, we've been programmed naturally in this nine to five corporate world that, that is debt based and slave driven and that we have to do a number of things and you can't do it any other way. And, and we see that as a result of things like council tax that we've been talking about. In fact, where you, you, you just can't be in a house without some, you know, you're paying for the house via a mortgage where money has been just created out of nothing. And then the bankers are making a fortune out of it. Um, and then even though you've done that, you're paying taxes for everything else that you ever have to buy, your petrol, your food and things like that. And then on top of that, you, you can't even be in your house without having a fixed demand on you or you will suffer imprisonment or the enforcement agent. Uh, and, and there is no, there is no, there's no human contact. And it, it just surprises me that we we sophisticated, cultivated people of the 21st century have got to a point here in the West in which we have governments which are there to penalise you. And yet we put them there. I mean, it is madness. And then when you think about the spiritual side of things, this is, this is the thing that I'm slightly concerned about. And I ask myself, am I perpetrating, am I continuing the, the tyranny in and of itself? Because... Are we, by concentrating and thinking about the things that are bad, that are happening to us and, 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 and just generating more fear or perpetuating the current situation, instead of concentrating that if our thoughts create and can manifest the things we want, why are we paying attention to the modern stuff that we can see around us, the problems? Why are we not, instead of that, just concentrating on the things we actually want rather than the things that are happening and, and staying in fear. And, and of course, the world around us has been, has been built to keep us in that so that we're, people are watching television, they're reading the newspapers, they're watching YouTube videos that have thumbnails that say, oh, crikey, look what's just happened. And you're going, oh, God, we're staying in fear, we're staying in fear. Instead of, I mean, it's interesting because if ever I put anything that's in good news or, or is... Um, you know, things like growing your own food, that is something actually that's important to us. Few people watch. It's like they'd much rather watch the, oh no, help, help, it's the nasty stuff. And, but they won't, they won't watch the stuff which is inspirational and actually going to help them. And you just think, why is that? Perhaps they're, perhaps they're not coming with us on the new world. And so my thoughts are, we, are, are exactly that. Do we need to create in our mind and, and the, the things we want and not 
worry about the, you know, oh, keep talking about chemtrails or fiat currency or the Luciferians and, and all that, because all the time we're kind of talking about that. Are we just giving them ammo, as it were, or giving them life? They're still being manifested. Whereas if we say, well, they're all dead, they've all gone, it's the end, it's the end of it all, it's over, the, the skies are blue, I have health, M money, whatever that is, 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 is now a positive thing, not a debt-based thing, it's, it's a, a credit-based thing. If we're thinking, using the power of the mind to create those things that we actually want instead of being focused on that. That's why I don't have a television. I don't have a television. I don't watch as many fear-busting um, videos on YouTube anymore. I'm watching inspiring stuff. I read the books which inspire me. I keep my thoughts away. And and yet, of course, I go through my emails and then there'll be people there who are saying, oh, Richard, it's the time of revelation. It's all over. There's nothing you can do. There's no point pushing back. It's all happening. It's all doom and gloom. And only those who believe in this are going to go to the sacred thing and you are going to be left behind. And you go, well, OK, that's your idea. It's not my idea. Thanks very much. You know, if you want to follow... Um, something that was being written 2,000 years ago and has been manipulated by these people and is a narrative by who knows what, then that's up to you. And, I, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that. Uh, it's just an interpretation. And it's just my opinion. So I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking you, the lovely audience out there, how do you feel about it? Do you believe in it? I mean, I, I, of course, there's going to be those people who say, well, the power of the mind, that's all fooey. I don't believe in it. Well, that's absolutely fine. And of course, you know, this is all my stuff on this channel is there to elicit debate. You don't have to agree with anything I say. You don't have to believe it. I know some people find it difficult that they can have a different point of view and so they have to call names or say, you know, you're a raving loony or whatever. That may be your opinion, but it's not a very honourable thing to sort of spout it, is it? You, I mean, we're all, we're all different, and that's the great thing about us. We're all different with different opinions, and that's the whole point of being on this planet, is it not? If it is a planet, you know, whatever, in this dimension at this moment. And if it's all about to end, and it's all going to go pear-shaped and what have you, why, if you believe in reincarnation or you believe in a higher self that you can choose to come back, why would we be here? Why, if I had a past life, would I decide to come back here unless I was serving a purpose and that purpose had to be positive? Why would I want to come back for a negative thing and just go, oh, watch it all collapse and depopulation and all of this through medical interventions? Surely there's a, a purpose. And I think Part of my purpose is to elicit debate, to put here ideas that may be different, may be challenging to some, and to see if you can hold those ideas and think, well, maybe there's merit in some of it, not all of it, but some of it. And the other is perhaps part of my purpose is about creating a positive future, not just for me, but for everybody. That And saying, are we creating that positive future for everybody by continually looking at the worrying things that are all around us. Should we not actually be creating the Eden, if you like, or the kind of beautiful world that we could have by concentrating on those things and shelving the worry and stuff and going, I'm not going to worry about those things. I'm not going to live under fear. I'm pushing that aside and, and, and you know, pushing back against those fearful people that are saying, you've got to go to court, you've got to pay this, this is the Bar Guild uh, Association, we're here as corporate Britain to enslave you and keep the money. I think, personally, I think it's all of that is over. And I said that for the last 12 months, that I think the government system that we have now is dead in the water. It doesn't work. It's not fit for purpose. And actually, we can rebuild this. I think that the world... There are two worlds splitting apart, that there is the good new world, the Eden of the world, which is on a spiral. I think it's called the crystal spiral that is happening. And those, the old world is going to stay in this and people are going to have to make the choice. They make the choice by how they behave and what they say and what they think. And so if you're if you're still going in there and no, 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 this medical intervention is there to good. You should have it and you must obey this and you, we need to extract money from you. I think they're in the old way and will soon disappear because I think the the new world. And if you're on board with this, it's going to be fantastic. And I and I made these 
videos, many of which I hope have been as aspirational. But I think that's it. We create this and we've got to, we've got to devoid ourselves from the fear because if it's true, and you may not believe it's true, but I do, I passionately think that it's true, that our thoughts are creating this. We know everything is vibration anyway. We know now that biologically we can create our own health. We don't need those pharmaceuticals, that that's all in the past. We know that there is so much aspiration for people, there is so much beauty and stuff that the old system is over. But let's keep that creation going. Let's focus on the positive and the good things and create what we want rather than worry too much about the stuff that is already dead and is now in past history.